Hello, this is the microwave man here. No, I'm just kidding. This is the CRT man here, and I will always be the CRT man. If you've seen my previous video about the microwave, then you'll understand. Uh, here's my Lego computer with some more updates consisting of November 1st to November 27th. And a major change, I made a Lego television set. That's right. It uses the monitor on the computer, but it also uses a TV. So, first of all, the keyboard, mouse, joystick, and speakers, and floppy disks, and power stuff have stayed the same. But the differences are, of course, I made the monitor into a TV and a monitor, and some internal parts of the hard drive have changed, but the rest has stayed the same. But first, let's start out with the TV. So, let's just unplug everything. This video is probably going to have a lot of bad camera angling. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, let's go to the back. Um, take this out. And, um, yeah, let's just unplug the computer down there. Okay, so now everything's unplugged. Let's take this out from the computer. So I made this t Lego TV on the 20th of uh, November. So as you see, it's kind of an old school 1970s, 1980s black and white version TV. It's got your UHF, VHF, power slash volume, and a built-in speaker. Uh, wild rainbow Lee color case. Um, still has the same internal parts for my Lego CRT monitor, which I had to destroy to build this. I'm really sorry if you liked it, but I might bring it back, you know. Uh, here is the power air, uh, power plug-in. There's the plug-in for the video or um, antenna. Uh, and here's the flyback tuning for brightness and stuff. And I made this antenna. I have two of these pieces, or three of them, but I can't find them at the moment. So I'm really sorry about that. So, yeah, so if you put this on top, and sorry about this bad camera angling, uh, plug that in over there. Okay, sorry, you couldn't even see it. That plugs into a little hole in the back. Uh, whoops, it's falling apart there. Okay, let's just put that to the side. And you'll see, you get an analog television. You could turn this little uh, crap, this knob, which just fell off. You could turn these knobs. See there? This one tends to break off a lot too. Um, yeah, so, and here's a speaker. And like the Vectrex, the power button is also um, the volume button. So let's go towards the insides. Let's unplug all this stuff. Okay. Whoa. Sorry about that. It almost dropped the camera. Uh, just take this off. Sorry if a lot of things start breaking. It tends to happen with these things. See that? Oh, geez. I already tore off the side. Um, and I already tore that off. Okay. Well, since the case decides to fall apart, I'm really sorry about that, but, uh, yeah. Happens a lot. So, here's the insides. See here? Made a much bigger video board, because TVs tend to have, um, more square boards than rectangle. There's the knob settings, and there's a built-in speaker, that little green brick. And, if you gently, very gently take this off, which I can't do with one hand, it'll rip off the electron gun as you just see. Uh, you can take off the video board, throw that aside, and see some of the insides, and hold on just one sec. Oh crap, that's not good. Um, yeah, you might have to hold on for longer than in one second. Really sorry about this, I'm having some video making issues this is not the this is actually not my first attempt this is my second attempt man the part I'm trying to show you just got ruined um, okay so if you remember in one of my previous Lego computer videos the anode cap for the flyback transformer had tape on it but now I made a, ver a way so it doesn't have to have tape and still stay in you can see kind of this little hole you can see a little green there and this plugs in. I'm not going to do it right now because it's been having some problems, but earlier it plugged in perfectly. So, yeah, that's the updates. See on the TV slash monitor. Very nice there. 
And then over here with the Lego computer, um, the only update on this is the hard drive. I really like this case. I'm going to probably keep this case for as long as possible. So let's open this thing up. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to have to set the camera down for this time because uh, for taking out the hard drive because something horrible happened uh, when I didn't. So hold on. There we go. All right. What? That was not supposed to stay on. This thing is just not having a good day. This is the second attempt. Whatever, at least I can fix this one. Okay, so here's the hard drive. It's um, back to normal size. It's not the mini scribe type anymore, but it still has a little light for the actuator arm. And if you take off the case without killing the whole hard drive, which I kind of did, um, see it's back to the normal actuator arm. And I made it nice and easy to move with one hand compared to one of my really older models. Let's see there. Very nice. So yeah, that's back to normal too. So pretty much these are the only changes, the TV monitor and the hard drive, which looks even more realistic than before. So yeah, I'm I'm not really sure how many more updates I'm going to be making, but eventually I'll probably have another one. So thank you for watching, guys.